Hello, everyone. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. Today's matchup features a couple of big targets who will be looking to get open in the middle of the field. It's the Jets going up against the Patriots. Now let's go to Jim Nance and Bill Sims for this Week 16 matchup. Patriots, Jets, coming up on EA Sports. Winter is here as the temperature continues to drop as we get set for kickoff for today's matchup. Hello, friends, and uh, happy holidays. Merry Christmas. Jim Nance and Phil Sims getting set for kickoff, and hope you're having a great holiday season. We've got some football coming your way. Yeah, we do. You know, when the weather gets cold and it gets this time of year, and that the games, the players know it's getting near the end, and every game is important because your dreams of going to the Super Bowl, they're still there. To get there, you probably need to win this game here today. Curley's going to be back deep here on the opening kick. The best team in the AFC will be kicking off to get this game started. No return here as he takes a knee in the end zone. Smith's coming out now at quarterback. He hovered right around 50% completion mark last week. They come to the line and it's first down. The quarterback motions the wide receiver. Flag is out. And Ivory's handed the football. That's a game of eight. Offside. Defense. That's what happens when you try to guess Still the snap down. count. First down here. Gets the handle here. McCourty's there to take him down. Hard to judge sometimes what time of possession really means in an NFL game. But I know this. When you run the football like that and you pick up decent yards, that's a good thing for the offensive side and a great thing for your football team. Running right through the trenches. Will Forbes in on the tackle. Here's our look at the Jets' offense. This bunch has struggled to find the end zone all year long. One of the lowest scoring teams in the league. Today, they'll try to change that formula. That's second down coming up. He's got the catch. with that play they move into enemy territory and driving here early stages well look I, i'm going to blame the defense they're being so passive you got to go out there and take some chances if you don't this offense is going to keep marching down the field wide receivers are bunched up now first and ten toss to the outside he's got a little bit of daylight here and ivory's tackled down after a gain of ten when a coach can ever run, it picks up those kind of yards. It gives them confidence, and they will show more and more patience with the running game. So the defense, they better dig in here. First down at the 40. Here's Decker. He'll be taken down about three yards short of the first. That time the quarterback throws the drag route. He doesn't get a first down, but still it's a good decision by him. The throw was right on target. And it picked up solid yards. They send the tight end in motion. The Jets take it from the 33. Will go ground. The tackle's made, and the first down is picked up. 
When I was a quarterback, I loved it when they called the draw plays because I know that defensive line, they're all trying to go after the quarterback, and nobody's prepared for the run. First down at the 26. Makes the reception. Unstoppable. What a nice throw and catch that time, but here it just shows you why you want to have a lot of speed on the defensive side. So when you make a mistake, what do you do? You make up for it by chasing the player down from behind and making the tackle. First down here after the completion. After the long game, let's see what they do here. They're going to run it on the toss. And with that, let's look at the Patriots' defense. They're very good at forcing turnovers this season, so this offense will need to take extra special care of the ball today. Second and goal from the six. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. Ends up picking up three yards. The offense is so close right here. They just need to show a little power and punch this in the end zone and get that touchdown. Coming to the line at the three. Offense lines up here. Third and goal from the three. Another handoff right back to him. And that game's won. Good job that time by the defense. They stop them short on third and goal. What will the offense do? I'm sure the defense is hoping they go for it. And the kick is good for three. Well, Jim, that field goal puts them in the lead. It was a nice drive by the offense. And what it does, it just gives you confidence. You did some positive things on the field, and it should carry over for you for the rest of the game. Brady's going to be at quarterback today. He ranks in the top 10 for touchdown passes in the league this season. First down here. And Amendola's a receiver in the slot. Snap back to Brady from the gun. The defense gets the sack. Jim, you can't tell the difference between the quarterback and the center. They're both retreating about as fast as you can go. That time the center gets run over, and it leads to a sack of the QB. The Patriots were never threatened a week ago, but they find themselves behind in a tight one today, Phil. Yeah, they found a team that was probably a little afraid because they saw how they, they blew out the team last week. So that makes you think we got to be sharp, be on top of our game, and that's what we've seen so far. And now a look at the Patriots' offense. They're one of the best in the NFL when it comes to moving the ball up and down the field. Heaving it down the field. Almost intercepted. Jim, when you get in these situations, there's not much you can do. Third long, not easy to pick up first downs in these type of situations. And the Patriots are going to punt it. He's going to try to return it. The tackle was made. First down. Offense readying for the snap. Wide receivers stacked up on this play. Smith standing back in the shotgun ready for the snap. Here's Decker and Rivas in on the tackle. I'm not going to disagree with the spy on the defensive side that time, but when you do that, just remember it's easier for the quarterback to throw the ball down the field and get completions. Coming up, second down. And Curley's going to get set in the slot for this snap. And the second quarter is underway with this snap. The defense gets a sack. 
Well, the right side, Jim, the right tackle and the right guard. They look confused. They don't know what to do, so they just get run over, and the quarterback falls down. Offense lines up here from the shotgun. He'll fire it out to the left. Nelson's got the catch and the first. Boy, anytime you pick up a third long in the NFL, that is a confidence booster to all the players on the offensive side and also the head coach, and maybe most importantly, the offensive coordinator. Now he can just let it go. He's looking to the right here on this throw. Nice catch by the receiver, but it still doesn't get a first down. That leads us to second down. Chris Ivory lined up in the backfield. Smith's back in shotgun formation. Easy catch there. No one near him. Anytime you give a quarterback that kind of time, he's going to get comfortable, get his feet under him, be relaxed. And he is going to make the perfect throw down the field. Easy completion that time for the quarterback. First down following the long play. And Ivory's taking the handoff. And gains about one. I think you got to be a little more creative in the red zone than this. When you just line up and run the football like that, you're not going to get a lot of yards. And that time they just got a short game. Second down and eight. The give. Middle. Easily there to make the stop. Good job that time by the offense. They pick up a first down inside the 20-yard line. Now we'll see if they can punch it in and get seven points. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. First and goal. Offense lines up here. Good for only a yard or two. It's getting harder and harder in the NFL to score when you're this close to the goal line. So what will the offense do? They, they better be creative. That's all I know. The defense is ready to plug up the middle here on the goal line. It's third goal right here in a close game. This offense, they want to take control. If they score right here, that could give them control of this game. The defense loading up on the line, getting set for this snap. In the end, it picks up only a yard. The Patriots use a timeout here. We'll take a quick break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Should be an easy one here. No doubt about it. Put three on the board. Bill, they get the field goal at that time, and it keeps the momentum on their side. It's positive energy. It makes you feel good. Now we'll see if the defense can carry it on. Big Pen will run this one out. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. First down coming up. Tom Brady under center. Still got it after the play action. Stiff arms to stay on his feet. They're going to get him here for a sack. The offensive coordinator just got to make some adjustments here. They can't stop the defensive line from sacking the quarterback. So either keep the tight end in or keep the halfback in to help block for the QB. They'll hike it to him out of the shotgun. He makes the catch. Good piece of tackling. Well, we still got a close game here, and you got to try to keep it that way. It's third long, and you're losing the football game. Don't take a chance on the offensive side. Wait for your next opportunity. Coming up in two minutes, it's the EA Sports Halftime Show, sponsored by Verizon. Coming to the line, hoping to avoid being sacked for a third time. Throws to the right. He's wide open for the grab. They're back at the line after that catch for a first down. Let's see what they do on first down following that huge play. Keeps it here. 
with two hands. He has it. That'll put them in what we call plus territory. The offense is set at the line for the first down after that completion. The defense comes out in the nickel. The Patriots at the line of scrimmage. Split backfield. And they bring it down at the 38-yard line. The Patriots call a timeout and are left now with only one. Second down coming up. The Jets' defense now is going to go nickel. Brady from the gun. And he's forced to the ground. Heading to the line for a third down play. And this was something they specialized in last week. Converting in these situations. Split backfield here. Third and a long way to go. Tom Brady unleashes the long touchdown New England. Touchdown, touchdown Patriots. What a throw by the quarterback for a touchdown. It was just really nice. He threw it beautifully right on target. Touchdown. The Patriots will move in front with the extra point. Add the extra point. The kick is good. The Jets can perhaps get the big return and do something here before halftime. They're suddenly trailing. The score's 7-6. to six. Steven Gostowski's readying his team for the kickoff. Picks up the football at the 6. Gets out past the 20 and brought down at the 24. Geno Smith takes the field for another time. Smith's got everybody split out wide. The Jets have it at the 24. Catches the ball on the sideline, but does not get both feet down. That's what you expect in the NFL nowadays from the players, especially these receivers. They're so aggressive, so athletic. They go all out for every catch. That time, he just lets it all go. Not able to make the catch, but I'll give him an A for effort. And pass batted down incomplete. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these receivers and deflect the pass without getting a penalty. Good job. That last pass incomplete, and it brings up third down. Smith's lined up two tight end set, and Ivory's going to secure the handoff. And he's going to be tackled, and that's going to bring us to fourth down. Quickly will be called on now to punt the football. That's a touchback, and the ball will be spotted at the 20. It's first down as they head to the line. Brady's going to take it from the gun. Eyeing that left side. It's Grump taken down at the 45. First down here after the completion. Brady's got it in the gun. Down the field. And it's incomplete. Lots of ways to attack cover two. There's no doubt about it. You can throw it underneath. You can pump fake the safeties. Make one of them move and still throw it deep down the field. Second down now. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Brady's going to take the snap from the shotgun. We knew we might be in for some big numbers in the passing game today, and we've seen that so far, Phil. We have seen that. The quarterback has been magnificent, no doubt about it. And what you have to do on the defensive side, look, you know they're going to get the yards. You just hope to stop them down in the red zone and make them kick field goals.
This is a long field goal about to be attempted. It's going to be a delay of game penalty. Still first down. First down on the way. This will most likely be the final play before the half ends. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. The Patriots will take the snap from the 45. Tom Brady unleashes the long pass. Almost intercepted. That does it for the first half. Jets trailing this one. All right, welcome to the Verizon Halftime Report. Let's take a look back at the first half. The Jets haven't played their best football and trail because of it. The Patriots have looked good on the road and will just try to keep the ball rolling in the second half. All right, let's do this. Here's the first half highlights. Down to late in the first half. Pass coverage will break down here and it'll eventually be brought down, but not before getting to their own 43-yard line. Still a little time left on the clock. Brady's going to find his mark, capping off an eight-play drive with a TD. They go ahead by one. Still a little time left on the clock. Frankowski is able to get open here, and he'll end up with their own 45-yard line before being tackled. The Patriots prepared to return the kick. Just past the 20, we'll mark it at the 22-yard line. They come to the line of scrimmage, first down. It's an empty backfield for Brady this time. And now here's the first snap of the second half. That's right, that's a gain of six. The Patriots have really struggled protecting their quarterback, but it hasn't mattered. Brady's still found ways to deal with that pressure and make the throws. He has dealt with it well. What you have to be able to do in the NFL as a quarterback, you got to be able to throw under pressure, and you have to be able to throw off your back foot because there are a lot of times there are going to be guys around you. Well, the defense, they give up a first down there. They're behind. They just can't sit back there and keep bending. You got to take some chances, go on the offensive, on the defensive side, and just make things happen. Split backfield here, first down and 10. They have this one covered up, and it's going to set them back for a loss. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Nickel formation for the defense here. On this passing down, the defense comes out in the nickel. Brady play action. And he's taken down. There is nothing worse for a quarterback than have the pocket collapse. And that time he collapsed on his left side. There's nothing he can do. And he goes down for the sack. Vereen lined up in the backfield. The Patriots will take the snap from the 25. It's Brady down the field. It's Milliner who steps in front for the interception. In on the stop. Good job that time by the defense. Not being fooled. Being in position. When you're in position, you have a chance to make the play. That time they did. They got the interception. Decker's lined up now as a slot receiver. And Ivory's going to take the handoff now. He struggled to run the football last week, and that continues today. We all need help, don't we? We need help. And this running back, that's what he needs. They need to run some different plays, give him a chance to get some success. Second and eight. Brings 
it into his body. As good as it gets. Touchdown. Well, Jim, it's almost impossible to guard these guys nowadays as they go down the field. These wide receivers, they have feet like ballerinas. And even though you get tight coverage, they're so quick, they can get open and make the catch. Trying to work that. Got the touchdown. Got the two-point conversion. People love to go for two in this game, don't they? Well, they do. And you know what? Now, I guess you and I just can't sit here and blast the coach for a bad decision. When you pick up the two points, you can't complain about what they're trying to do. And they stop him from running it out to the 20. Mark him down at the 19. The Patriots are ready to take over now as their offense heads onto the field. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Oh, and almost picked off that time. Every quarterback in the NFL is going to have one or two passes a game. They can be picked off. Most of the time they're dropped, and this time that was a bad drop by the defense. They come out in a dime package. Second down and ten. Makes the reception. The Patriots do a really good job this time on offense. The quarterback throws the ball short. They pick up a few yards, and now it makes third down much easier. Third and three. Gronkowski has it. Landry's the one who brings him to the ground. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing. But you pick up the first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. The outside linebacker that time just did his job very well. And gets in there and makes the tackle for no game. After being stuffed at the line of scrimmage, it's now second down and ten. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. Brady, play action, reaches out and snatches it. Tackles made, and that'll move the chains. They're back at the line after that cat out. The defense comes out in the dime. The Jets come out in a dime package. And the give to Reggie Bush. Game's 11. Big first down by the offense that time. Here in the second half, they're losing a close game. When you get that first down, it just gives you confidence. It opens up the playbook, and it just gives you a better chance of going down the field and getting the score. Bush brought down after a gain of six. The offense heads to the line for the seventh play of the drive. Tom Brady under center. The Patriots have it at the 29. Fires all over the ball carrier. The Patriots offensive coordinator, he has to be frustrated by that play. I think he calls the right play, but what happens? The run loses yards. That's just a bad job by the offensive line. He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. And Matthews is there to catch a ball that had a lot of heat on it. The Patriots just picked up a big first down that time, Jim. When you're down by a few points in the second half, every first down is crucial. Nice job that time by the offense. First down at the 19. Brady to Amendola. That is play number 10 on this drive. Play after play after play here on this drive. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. He dives in for the score. Touchdown. 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 Well, that score ties the game up. Now, on the defensive side, you've got to come out there and take advantage of this, this feeling you got going now and get the football back for your offense. Makes the PAT. Got a tie game here now and what's been a good one so far. The score's 14 to 14.
fields the football at the three. And he's met head on right there at the 20. Gino Smith heading back out for this next series. First down at the 20. And Ivory's handed the football. Then picks up about three. This will be second down. The Jets get a first down, and he's tackled down after picking up the first. There has been good pass protection for the quarterback all day long. He has not been sacked much, and he throws it there and gets another completion. First and ten. Here's the handoff. Middle. He is tackled at the 40-yard line. That'll be a great offense. You've got to be able to do a couple things that counters what the defense is going to do. Catch them off guard. One way to do it, run a draw play. They're thinking pass. You go with the run, and it picks up good yards. Second and three. Brings it in along the sideline. Well, that's a nice throw that time by the quarterback to the outside. He knows against his cover three, where the weakness is, is at the sidelines. He took advantage of it with the good throw. That was a big gainer. Now it's time to back it up. Takes it from the eye. Wilfork's in on the tackle. Well, I know it's not going to make a highlight film, but still a good solid run up in there for a couple yards. After the two-yard carry, it sets up second down and eight. It's a dime look for the defense on this play. Throwing now to his left. Secures it with two hands. Anytime you picked up a couple first downs, here's what happens. The defense starts to doubt what they're doing, but maybe more importantly, it gets those big boys over there tired. Geno Smith under center. The Jets will take the snap from the 25. He's brought down at the 20-yard line. Well, we were in practice on Friday, Jim. This team was working on red zone offense all the time. Well, here they are. It's a tie game. We'll see if all that practice pays off. Lined up in the backfield. Second down and five. Trying to fight through right up the middle of the field. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Time is running out. The game is tied. And the defense must do whatever it can to not give up a score. Teams in the NFL spend about 30, 40 percent of their time all week long practicing plays in the red zone. So there's a lot they can do here. Let's see if they come up with something that works. First and ten. Once again, the running. That's McCourty making the stop. The Jets, they believe in their offense. They know once they get inside the red zone, they can run or throw. That time they run the football and it picks up some good solid yards. Great job by the offensive line. This drive now about to reach the 10th play of the series. This long drive continues. And Ivory's got it on the handoff. He's got the first down yardage. Well, that last play almost got him in here. And when you look at this, what do they do? Well, you just want to punch it in. There's a lot of, a lot of different scenarios. You could do a play-action fake, probably get somebody wide open, or have a running back just jump over the top for the touchdown. Jets are in the end zone. Oh, you just love it as a quarterback. You get down in there, and it's first to go, and you score. Now you don't have to sweat the fact that, man, what are we going to do if it gets to third down? You don't have to worry about it. Good run, nice touchdown. So with this late lead change, we've had another twist in what's been a great game, and now we'll see if this offense has one more drive in them. Brady will lead his offense back onto the field here as this goes for a touchback. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. 
He's setting up here. He's been sacked four times already. What a beating it has been for the quarterback. And he's thrown to the ground. Every play is huge down. Second down on the way. Loading up with extra defensive backs in the dime. Brady is in the shotgun. Brady to Amendola. Friars there to make the tackle. Coming up, third down. A huge moment. It's Bush in the backfield. Third and five. Finds his mark. He steps out. You have to like what this team has done today, passing the football. It's been their identity this season, and that continues here today. Yeah, he's like, a, listen, this quarterback is a lot like a pitcher. Some days he'll beat you with the fastball. The next day it's the breaking ball, and that's what he can do, too. He beats you with power or finesse. It doesn't matter. Good defense to deflect the pass and force the incompletion. That is so tough to do, to be that close to these receivers and able to knock the pass down without getting a penalty. Good job. Bush is lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. Tom Brady under center. Second and ten. Brady going to try to scramble now. He's got some daylight. Tackles made, and the first down is picked up. First down. Pressure on every snap now. They face first down. Quarterback coming to the line. Hoping to avoid being sacked for a sixth time in this game. Brady to Amendola. Well, I think we all know the situation here. It's a close game in the second half, and you're losing, but you pick up a first down. Oh, my gosh. That opens up many more possibilities, what you can do on the offensive side. Good job by the offense. Huge play coming up. Offense looking for one more play to make. First and goal from the six. Set up screen to Bush. Wow, what a time. Touchdown near the end of this one. There's no doubt about it. When you score like that to tie up the game, it shifts momentum. And it's all up now to the offense of the other team to get back out there and get the momentum back on their side. The point after try is in the books. What a game this has been. Tied up now in the waning moments of the fourth. Well, when he gets this late in the game, it, it just comes down to do you have the courage to try to make the play or you just hang in there and hope the other team makes a mistake? We'll find out. Ball is out. A huge turn of events. The ball's going back the other way. And he's brought to the ground. Special teams in this league, especially when you're talking about kicking teams, the kickoff team this time, they hustle, they get down there, they make the big hit, and it causes a fumble, and they recover. What a nice spot to begin this drive. Bush is lined up behind his quarterback as the single back. Coples is there to make the tackle. You got to keep your offensive lineman aggressive, so you have to run the football every once in a while. That run, even though it was a short game, it served a purpose. The Patriots use a timeout. They'll talk over things before calling what should be the final play. Patriots return to the huddle. They've gotten into field goal range in this tie game, so they know they're in control right now.
Can the kicker handle the pressure? The Jets will, of course, call the timeout now to stop the clock. The Patriots now with a chance to go ahead here in the fourth with this field goal attempt. He makes it, and the celebration is underway. What's it like for a team standing on the sideline waiting to see if the kicker can win the game for your team? Jim, it, it, it's very nerve-wracking. You know that you have nothing to do with the outcome. It's all up to the kicker now. You've watched him make it many, many times in practice. When they do it in the game, that is, it. That is just exciting stuff. memorable game this truly was for Phil Sims, Danielle Bellini and Larry Ridley, Jim Nance saying so long for now and we leave you with the GMC never say never moment of the game.